we don't we, the, the worst thing to do now is get down and stuff like that but we got a lot of positive guys we're gonna be fine you described the play in the end zone where you almost had a touchdown and didn't it was kind of hard to see from the press box were you yeah, you get... um, on the field they called it um, no touchdown. I caught the ball, but I didn't catch it the first time. Um, it's on me, you know, uh, I'd be able to come up and make that play for my team. It was a second consecutive pass, like, to the corner. Yeah. And each one, maybe, I'm not going to say the chase overthrew them. He's definitely leading you towards the, the end line. How, where did you feel the ball was spotted? I mean, was it was it right where you would have wanted it? Yeah, I just needed to make a play on the ball, and I felt to do that. So, as uh, absolving Chase Crouch from overthrowing the ball completely, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. No, I uh, just if the ball is in the area, I'm, I should. Make, I am the person that's going to make that play. And we got guys on the field that can make that play. Uh, if it just comes down to getting more of some practice, but I can make that play. I made that play many times. Yeah, I'm not trying to like pile on Chase Crouch. I'm just saying that you know uh, he he had a rough night, which he just kind of acknowledged himself. But the coaches. Are obviously showing a load of confidence, and uh, as a receiver, as the receiving core, I mean, how do you feel like his his accuracy and his mood combined and can can uh, in for the rest of the season come together? Um, I think it can only get better. You know, Chase is pretty consistent on how he is with us, and. He's in the position that he's in because everybody trusts him and the coaches have enough confidence in him to go out there and make those plays. So, you know, we got a long season ahead of us and we're going to trust in our guys and we're going to be just fine. Okay. Thanks, Malik.